Hello, and welcome to Still Behind the Bench. My name is Adam, and on this channel, I will attempt to describe the science behind distilling spirits in a more technical way. Hopefully, it will whet your appetite to learn more and teach you enough so that you're more self-sufficient. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, blue distillate or copper salts. Let's get started. I decided to do this video because I saw it popping up on the Firewater subreddit a lot. There's also private message about it a few times. Blue distillate is just as it sounds. The liquid coming out of your still is blue, bluish green, greenish blue, or even sometimes mostly green. It may look something like this, maybe not as dark. This is a result of copper salts being created within the still, somewhere near the top of the still or on the downward side of it. So you might not be able to see it, but up here or downward side of it. It is a very unlikely that any copper salt that develops down in the boiling vessel at the bottom of the still will make its way up to the condenser, but it's not impossible. So what essentially what happens is either the water or some other compound within your distillate is dissolving that copper corrosion and flushing it out into your distillate. You absolutely do not want copper salts in your distillate. If you're distilling it and at any point you start to see blue distillate coming out, you want to cut the heat to the boiler to minimize any losses. And I'm taking the least harm principle into account and saying you should just toss anything you've collected. Like I said before, it's unlikely that anything that develops in the boiling vessel will travel up the column. Uh, if you're using plates or packing in a reflux setup, that likelihood even drops even more too highly improbable, but it isn't impossible. So while you technically could dump that distillate back into the boiler, I'm just gonna say, don't risk it. You don't wanna get toxic copper poisoning and end up in the hospital. So which copper salts show up? Well, I made this chart here, link in the description. It shows the possible copper salts that can develop, the most likely ones that will develop, guaranteed any copper corrosion that you find is actually going to be a combination of some of these salts. It'll never just be one of them. And which specific salt it is doesn't, isn't really super important. What is important though is how do you get rid of these copper salts? My recommendation is to disassemble the still and then in a large Rubbermaid container you can add one tablespoon per four liters or one tablespoon per gallon uh, citric acid to hot water. You can add more citric acid if you want, but I wouldn't add more than two tablespoons. The water should be at least 60 degrees Celsius or 100 deg 140 degrees Fahrenheit. You can soak the still components in that solution for 10 to 20 minutes, swish it around if you can, then remove and let the parts drain into that same container. Then what you can do is when you go to rinse it, the copper components, Rinse it out into a separate container to see if any more blue distillate comes out. I would then either do a sacrificial run all over again, or if you have some heads on hand that you've kept, you can pour that through it a few times and see if any blue distillate comes out. If you don't see anything come out during the sacrificial run or during a heads rinse, then just rinse it with water and let it dry. If you do continue to see blue come out on the sacrificial run or the heads rinse, then you'll need to do the soaking again with the citric acid. If your still can't be easily disassembled or you simply don't want to disassemble it, you can do a vinegar run instead. Just mix a 50-50 vinegar wash, so 50% vinegar, 50% water, and run it for about an hour or until you stop seeing blue distillate come out. Plus, I'd give it another 15 minutes. Then you want to rinse out the still immediately after stopping because vinegar, which is acetic acid, can in fact cause corrosion to develop itself. So how do you prevent copper salts from forming in the first place? Well, there are two copper salts you'll find that you'll never be able to stop from being created. One is called cuprous oxide or copper one oxide. It'll develop anywhere that a bare copper and heat are present and oxygen, of course, it comes out as a sol sort of a reddish brown or a dull copper color. The other main copper oxide is copper two oxide. It's black. You'll also see this develop quite a lot and there's really nothing you can do about it. You can use citric acid or vinegar to 
get rid of it though. But after doing a run, what you want to do is rinse out the entire still with fresh water as soon as possible while it's still warm if you can uh, and then you let it dry. If you live somewhere that's humid, you might want to think about storing copper components in a, rubber, a Rubbermaid container with uh, a bowl of um, rice to help keep down the humidity. That'll help try prevent copper corrosion from developing. If you haven't built or bought a still yet, you might want to think about making the main structure of the still from stainless steel and glass. Uh, then you can pack it or plate it with copper. So I normally run copper plates in these top sections and then down in here I will run copper packing like this copper mesh. Then when I need to deal with any sort of corrosion that develops on it, it's easy for me to take it out and put it into a small container with hot water and citric acid. You can also put copper into the boiler itself to help deal with any sulfur compounds that are created. Overall, I find that the stainless steel is just a better solution to any sort of copper corrosion issue. Much easier than having the entire still made out of copper. And that's it for blue distillate or copper salts. Um, I just made this up, this chart up, just in case you're interested to see what salts form. Uh, also put generally what color they'll be, whether or not they're water soluble or ethanol soluble. So yeah, this, remember this chart is down in the descriptions. I hope you learned something. Please click like and subscribe if you want to see more. Have a great week. Cheers.